A long way away in another part of the world. Another boat is net fishing. A big storm is coming. The fishermen come back to pull their net up, but the seas are too rough and they lose their net in the crashing waves. The storm catches the net and washes it into the seas of the Torres Strait. The net drifts for weeks, still fishing by itself, catching all kinds of fish, turtles, dugongs, sharks. A young man lives here. His name is Gelam. Every morning he goes fishing. He pulls his dinghy out and sets out past the reef towards Nagi. Suddenly the dinghy stops. The prop is caught. The dinghy is trapped in something. He can't see what it is. In the fading light, the young man can't see the big net floating below. The young man thinks these nets are dangerous. He needs to go quickly before the storm comes. He says to himself, tomorrow I'll come back to look for this net. That next day, the young man took his dinghy way out across the reef to where he got caught the night before. He looked into the water and there below him he could see the big net. But wait, look, there was something else caught too. A big shark. It was alive, flashing, trying to get free. He knew he had to cut it out of the net or else it would die. He took a deep breath and dived down to the shark. He cut the shark loose. It swam free. He hoped it would be all right, and so he gave it blessing and wished the shark good luck. He wanted to get this net out of the sea. He dived down again. He pulled his net to his dinghy and climbed in. But what could he do with this big net? He thought hard. Maybe he could give it to his father and uncle. They could use some of the net to make bags to put their crayfish in, and they go fishing. So he turned the dinghy towards Moa, taking the big net back with him to get the net out of the sea forever.